I broke my back in 73, and I came up with the reverse hyper idea. Broke it again, L5, you want to take out two discs through my back, I refused to do that. I did acupuncture, acupressure, um, stretched, and reverse hypers. And at over 50 years old, I mean, when I was 52, I squatted 920 pounds. It was the third best in the world ranking that year, and I had the fourth best total. That traction lab, so my back's loose again. So when I, before I did these, I'd be lying on the floor for like 30 minutes rolling around. And this instantly relieves that, that uh, compression. So it's a real interesting as well as building a build your butt up. Hey guys, this is Panda checking in once again from the garage gym. Today I wanted to make another video, another uh, post review video um, on the reverse hyper. Now if you caught my last week's uh, video on the glute ham developer, I'm not going to beat the dead horse and say that the reason I sold this product was because of how big it was or how much it cost or the workout economy. You could pretty much only do one workout with the reverse hyper. I kind of wanted to give you guys an in-depth reason, rationale, and why I decided to purchase it and sell it. Um, I definitely don't want to be just a positive review guy on YouTube. There's plenty of people on YouTube that just give positive reviews, but I wanted to be a little bit more transparent. I wanted to give you guys my point of view on certain items and the reasons why I moved forward from them. Um, now, before I, um, I purchased the Reverse Hyper, during the time I was definitely just going for max weight, squat, deadlift, bench press. I was doing a lot of Olympic weightlifting and CrossFit. A lot of the things I did was very taxing on my back. And the reason I um, decided to buy the Reverse Hyper was but for its rehab purposes. Um, at the time, you know, I was definitely having a lot of back pain. Um, I was very immobile. My lower back was just a jumble, uh, jumbled mess. You know, without ever using a Reverse Hyper, I went ahead and pulled the trigger. Similar to the Glue Ham developer, when, when you're looking to buy the product, any and all information you see online is a reason for you to purchase it. Um, the, the first big reason I wanted that I went ahead and sold it was that the reverse hyper for me it wasn't really that effective in reversing the back pains that I dealt with on a daily basis. Um, everybody's a little bit different. Everybody's back pain is going to be different. Um, some people have back pain because they sit all day on a desk. Some people ha will have back pain because they have a herniated disc. Um, or it might be just be a simple reason because of the way you sleep at night. You really have to find the reason why you have back pain before you go ahead and purchase this product. For me personally, things like the, the inversion therapy, the, the Samson stretch, um, you know, multiple hip stretches and trigger point therapy was definitely the turning point in my back pain. Before you buy the reverse hyper, please do figure out exactly what kind of back pain you do have before you spend so much money on a big machine for that purpose. Now another reason why I decided to sell the reverse hyper was the fact that any and all pain relieving qualities I did receive from the machine seemed to dissipate shortly thereafter. Um, you know, during the, during the workout itself, you're sending blood, you're getting warmth, you're getting a stretch in the lower back, but say an hour or two after the, the workout, when, you know, when you do the th daily things you do on an everyday basis, you sit in the car, you drive, you sit in the desk at work, um, my back just tightened up. And for me personally, if I buy a machine that is five by five, $800, $900, I do expect a little bit more benefit from it if I bought it a rehab and a pain alleviating purpose. So that is just my situation. I'm not being, a, I'm not generalizing it to your situation. I know there's a ton of personal accounts of people where this machine has definitely helped. Um, now I'm, I'm gonna regress back into my previous point where I feel as if, if you do your own research and you find out exactly what's ailing you, whether it's just, you know, tight hip flexors or whatever else, you know, these, these, um, these keywords, these hot topics there are about back pain, you'd really be able to kind of dial in and kind of help yourself and figure out exactly what it is that is ailing you. I'm not saying don't buy the reverse hyper, but don't buy the reverse hyper and expect it to be uh, the, the reason you're, you're going to be walking around with much less pain than you currently do have. Um, I do recommend if you're thinking about buying a reverse hyper, please do find a gym that has one, use it for a couple weeks and see if it's effective for you. Um, again, I'm not trying to detract anything from Louis Simmons' body of work. I'm not saying that the relief, that the um, the reverse hyper for, say, a herniated disc, a lot of you guys have this machine and a lot of you guys have benefit, benefited greatly from it, but this is just my personal um, take on the product. Louis Simmons, 
um, developed this product out of necessity because he at one point in his life had um, a spinal injury. Um, by using this product, he was able to, you know, recover from it and break more world, world records. Um, he's pretty much the 1% of the 1% when it comes to powerlifting. But you are not Louis Simmons. I'm not Louis Simmons, and the majority of us will not be Louis Simmons. Um, if, if you're training West Side style, I think this will definitely benefit a person with that type of uh, training regimen. But for me, as a garage gym owner, as a um, right now, as pretty much just somebody who's generally trying to look better, feel better, live life a lot more pain free than I used to, I don't feel as if the, the uh, re reverse hyper um, deserves a place in my garage gym. So I do hope this helps. I know a lot of you guys will be looking to spend your tax return money on something, something nice for your garage gym, your home gym. Um, I hope this helps you uh, in your decision making process. Please do your uh, homework, do your due diligence um, before you purchase any and all large pieces of equipment like the reverse hyper. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for, you know, listening to my opinion, uh, allowing me to, to be transparent. It's all love. Um, I have no hate for the reverse hyper. It just wasn't the right fit for me, for my workout regimen, for my purposes. Um, please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, and lift something heavy. Peace out.